What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Gouache Universe podcast. I'm that comic book artist that discusses comics, science fiction, and pop culture news, all while changing the universe, one subject at a time. So we're back. X-Men 97, Tolerance is Extinction, Part 2, Episode 9. So after that episode last week, I, um, I got to admit, I'm, in, uh, I'm a little bit nervous for the mental state of Magneto because after went went down on Genosha, he's free. And we learned last episode that he's kind of declaring war against humanity. And rightfully so, you know, I think it's time for the X-Men to stop beating around the bush. And look, I don't know. It's been made, the, the statement has been made that Magneto was right. And it's been proven that he was right, you know. Uh, humanity, they reared their ugly heads on Genosha. And uh, even Valerie Cooper, I kind of empathize with her, you know, because she at least did the right thing at the end. Um, kind of a self-sacrifice. So I don't know if she's going to live, is she going to die? I don't know. Um, but interestingly enough, Magneto did let her live. He could have killed her, you know, um, but he decided to let her live. So, but I know he is declaring war on humanity. And uh, I got to say, because I know the comics so well, I think that's at the, the core of why I'm nervous of what's to come. Because if they're pulling from the comics, then, and he's declaring war on humanity, then um, we could only be heading for... I hate to say it because I, like I said, I know all the comics. I got all the graphic novels. So I know the storylines. Um, man, I think we're heading for fatal attractions. You know, um, because at that point, Magneto is just like enough is enough is enough. And um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, so I'm kind of going in cold. You know, I know that, you know, they've been dropping different trailers and stuff. I don't know, like, why are you dropping trailers for episode eight, nine, and 10? I mean, why? Just let the episodes speak for themselves. I mean, why even do that? Why even spoil it for people? So I tried to stay off the internet. I haven't seen anything, you know. Um, just, you know, I've had friends tell me that they've been dropping trailers and things like that. I'm like, dude, why? But anyway, uh, enough of me talking. And let's just get right into it because I can't hold off anymore. I got to see it. So here we go. Nervous. Previously on x -Man. Let's see what this intro is like. Hmm. He's back, back home. Look, look at him. He's in his uniform, the classic purple and red. I know you ain't crying for your mom. You turned her into a daggone sentinel. Crying? There it is. There's the chair. Oh, it's damaged. Yep, put that helmet on. Yeah. Look at that right there. Stay back. Hmm. Is that asteroid M? No need to be crying now, man. You infect your own mother. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> 
She's back. World is going to end in 12 hours, so you two better make this fast. Magneto, sir? Really? What did you expect was going to happen when you tossed him to school? I wanted you two to be free. To finally be together. To have a family. A child like Nathan. The choice should have been ours. I wanted to spare you the weight of your loyalty to me. Both of you have done everything I have asked since you were teenagers. You were my first students, and you graduated a long time ago. And what would freedom have gotten us? I still would have had to send Nathan to the future. I'd still be pulled into dealing with Bastion or Magneto or whoever else threatened the world. No matter what, I'll always end up here. Don't you know that? That was my fear. From the moment I first met you, that you would help build a world where mutants could live however they wish, but that you would never allow yourself to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Perhaps that was a mistake, because just like you, I'm right back here. Remy, I... No! Oh. Oh. Do you feel... I feel like I've been run over by a hay baler fixed with a jet engine. <laughs> Trans, I, did he? Oh, we missed the whole now. You're back. <laughs> Restored, thanks to Forge. Oh, please. Aurora's doing her beauty's goddess routine. It's been too long, my friend. Wish it were under better circumstances. Your augmented prosthetics remain functional despite Magneto's blackout. This whole thing. Bring together an electrostatic deflector can heat you so good. Yes, Forge, of course. Hi. Oh, my friend. Thought about it. Oh, gee. <laughs> what happened? I know. Look, you Storm, she's still floating in the air. Don't walk in for me, walk. Your <laughs> tech should be operational. I don't need no stinking walking. This was a haven. It is this horrible here. How bad is it out there? Thousands are feared dead. All First World infrastructures are in ruin. Wow. Without warning, Magneto's thrown the entire planet back centuries. When the sun sets tonight, it sets on the future. I need to find Magneto and convince him to reverse the damage to Earth before it becomes permanent. Well, Magneto ain't gonna change his mind just because we say please. The man just declared war on the whole planet. His day ends one day. I brought us here, my X-Men. Do not make Magnus pay for my designs. Bro, you're going with me and Blue Team to find Magneto. Storm and Jean will lead Gold Team to shut down Bastion at his headquarters. Blue and Gold Team? Have we figured out how to okay. find Sentinel upgrade? Hold up. These guys hated us before Bastion drafted them into his killer robot army. We don't even know how many are. Hey, he's wearing the, the first class uniform. And wait, is Rogue wearing? Rogue is wearing the classic. Uh, the Prime Sentinels are controlled by a central command server. Alas, I was unable to find it before the blackout. Bastion is the command server. When I first founded the school, I visited Sebastian's mother. The boy could communicate with machines. Cerebro had detected him, so I assumed he was a mutant. His mother slammed the door when she heard the word, forbade him from returning with me to the school. I believe Magnus will be open to turning the power back on. Well, didn't you also believe it was a good idea to hand the bad guy your school? That's enough. Lame game is over, people. The world ends in less than 12 hours. Impress me. Charles described Bastion as a technopath, which is essentially telepathy for machines. And this mnemonic scrambler shut down Jean's powers when she was the Dark Phoenix. So we calibrate the scrambler to Bastion's frequency nice and callback. sever his hold over the primes. We can use neutralizer technology to permanently disable his control of prime time. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. No neutralizer technology. <laughs> She's wearing the classic outfit. 
I didn't notice that until... Remy was the most Cajun man I ever met. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you saw us as people and not students, you'd have realized that. I'm oh. so sorry, Rogue. For you, for Remy, Moira, oh. so many. And despite the power of words, nothing spoken can heal this pain. I think I know where this is headed. In the comics, it was Colossus. There he is. Look at that. Looks like the search came to us. Your home. When you abandoned us for your Shi'ar bird queen, you bequeathed it to me. Asked me to walk <laughs> your path. Are you prepared to walk mine? Magnus, your path leads to total destruction for both humans and mutants. You must undo the damage you've done. We have a plan to stop Bastion, but we must also repair Earth. I promised a boy a future free of fear, only to watch his frightened eyes be vaporized inside his tiny skull. Yeah. Because he believed in me. Yeah. In the dream you had me sell. A home to replace uh -oh. what they stole from us. A new Genosha. We have gotten here by walking this man's path. We are left with but two choices. Uh -oh. Oh. In Genosha, I made a choice. Rogue, do not turn your back on family. You were gone, gal. None of you were there the day Genosha fell. Who dies next, Professor? Jean? <laughs> Been there, done that. Who knows where Bishop is? And hell, Morph was barely on the team 30 minutes before we tossed them to the wolves. <laughs> Jubilee? Roberto? I will not see any more mutants die. <laughs> he called me. My own family. It's left here. Me? Oh. <laughs> huh. Yep. It's in a ride to Asteroid M. The classic uniforms. But she's not my mother. Please tell me they're going to put those uniforms on. It's confusing to me, too, you know. Jean. He said not my mother. <laughs> what I know for certain is that they're two of the strongest people I've ever known. Trust her. And son. Let me guess. Be careful. No. Give up hell. <laughs> Go ahead. Almost forgot. Hey. Am I going to war for the circus? What would you expect? Black leather? <laughs> Take that, Fox X-Men. You expect me to trust you? The world is falling apart because you left your legacy to a lunatic. In under an hour, Look at that. civilization as we know it ends. Much like in the past, my X-Men and I are your best hope to avoid that future. The classic. If you don't trust me, trust my X-Men. Wow. Look at that. They're wearing the classic. <laughs> Uh-oh, what does that mean? Please don't kill Gene again. Come on now. They approach. Open the side. Oh, no. Wow, look at that. Hmm. Hmm. Here we go. <laughs> mm. I thought of you while away, of when my sister faced her darkness and emerged. Stronger. Believe, in a dream or our gifts. 
but in each other. There you go, Storm. Make them mind your weather, sister, and them weather your mind. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm talking about. Source of the frequency is coming from inside the volcano itself. And that's where Bastion is. Look at Cable. Marvel vs. Capcom uniform achieved. Why is your mind expanding? You cannot stop me and my kind. Oh, the Hulk? Ooh, there you go, Mark. Mm. Lend you a hand, friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you slapped him. Yes, Gene. She was pains, weaknesses. Mm. Come on, get him. Get him, Gene. Woo. Man, you know, sinister that can move like that. Wow, look at that animation. Come on, you got this, Gene. Mm, look at that. Come on, Gene, you got this. It doesn't matter. Yes, tell us. Madeline fights with me today. There you go. Ooh. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Ah, that hurt. <laughs> no, I'll be crying now. Look at that. Asteroid M. Oh, no. Is this the blue team? Is Wolverine on this? I know where this is going. Thank you. Chosen your side. Skipping the bladder. Come on, Wolverine. Woo! Huh? Sugar. You're playing a kid. Hmm. Whose lie is not your <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm sorry, Juice. Nah, I don't want to hear that. Get him, Jubilee. I said sorry. <laughs> right now. Magnets were all your talk of ruling the world. It is the world that rules you that has made the bitter man before me. Oh, how I wait. Shut up. <laughs> He's helmet. I must hijack his power to repair Earth. Sir, what about the prime signals? There is no time. Hey, wait a minute. Hmm. Was that more? Oh. No true mutant. A snake like Sinister would never risk his life for another. Mm, come on, Beast. Mm. <laughs> They're having too much fun. Look at that. Hmm. It's too many of them. Then face me. I'm shocked that such a coward hasn't abandoned Bastion yet. Look who's here, my rival thing of chance. Wow. Did he infect? Well, he did infect Cable. Wow, she took that gun apart. World-class telekinetic, just like you. Stuff tends not to skip a generation.
Hmm. Hey, wait a minute. Come on, Wolverine. Wow. Sorry, sir. Wow. Still still what? Uh-oh. What is going on here? Mm. No, I'm finally found the net. What is necessary? Mm. Yeah. Woo! There you go, Wolverine. Necessary. It's necessary. And it had to be done. The brave always die first. Mm. Finally. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, come on now. Come on. Oh. <laughs> You're going to end it right there? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was going to, I knew he was going to get his animantium pulled out. I knew it. I saw it coming a mile away. I told you, I know too much. I, I've known the comics for years. I read all the graphic novels. I remember that story, Fatal Attractions, when he pulled out Wolverine's adamantium. But at the same token, he shut Magne tried to shut Magneto's mind off. So maybe next season, are we going to get Onslaught? <sighs> See, I know too much. I know too much. Wow, this episode was fantastic, man. I can't believe it. The uniforms, everything, the revelations. <sighs> I got to digest this, man. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. There will be a review coming up soon. But man, this was fantastic. I knew it was coming. I knew he was going to get his animantium pulled out. <sighs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Please like, subscribe to the channel. It'll and come back next week for the uh, final episode. Um, wow. But man, this opens up a door for so many things to come next season. And I can't wait for the next episode. Wow. Hope you enjoyed this reaction. Um, watch Universe, and I'll see you on the next reaction. And check out the review that's coming up soon. Peace. Until next, till I see you next time, I'll see you in the universe. Look, I can't even talk, man.